So you're thinking about moving to Elliott, Maine, and you're trying to figure out some of the pros, the cons, the good and the bad before you make an investment in the area. So that's exactly what we're going to go over today. The convenience of living in the area, what it's like to live there, some of the school systems, and we're going to go over some of the stuff that I consider a con as well living there. Um, stuff that's definitely important to consider when moving to the area. Let's get into it. By the way, my name's Margaret, and if you want to know everything there is about living in Elliott, make sure to subscribe below so you can be the first to know about the current market here in Southern Maine. If you have any questions at all, feel free to give us a call, shoot us a text, send an email, or schedule a Zoom call. All that information's in the description below. The first thing I want to mention about Elliott is the fact that it is a very quiet, place to live. It is primarily residential uh, and there's not a lot of businesses in Elliott itself. So most errands you're going to need to make, you're going to have to drive to other towns to, you know, get groceries, go to the hardware store, that kind of thing. Elliott does have some restaurants uh, and some other small shops uh, and businesses as well, but it is definitely primarily residential. Um, and with that, you know, the pro is you're not getting any tourists. So if that's something you're looking to avoid and you want to be, you know, within 30 minutes of the coast, you want to be super close to the ocean, but you don't want to have to live, you know, in Kittery or York or Agunquit. You do not want to deal with that many people visiting. Elliott is a great place for that because it is not considered a tourist destination as it is set back a little bit from the coast. So it is right next to Kittery. It is the second southernmost town in the state. State, and it's an absolutely beautiful place to live um, but it's just it's not super touristy so you get to avoid all of that which is super convenient so like I said Elliot is primarily residential they do have some businesses in the area they do have a strip mall and I will make sure to insert some of the footage of that here all right so I wanted to take a second and show you guys around this particular area in Elliot so as you'll see on this particular strip we have a bunch of businesses Behind me is Kittery, which I told you earlier, this is the second southernmost town in the state. So we're slightly northwest of Kittery. So up here, you're gonna start to notice in the distance a Dunkin' Donuts sign. That's kind of the starting point of what I wanted to show you guys. Just after that, we have a Kenny Bunk Savings Bank and behind that is the post office for the town. Right up here, we have a couple of different gas stations and the plaza that I wanted to show you guys. And in just a second here, I'm going to take a left at this set of lights and give you guys kind of a better view of the plaza so you can see what I was talking about. So here I am turning and giving you guys a bit of a better shot pulling into this gas station over here on the left so you can see. The second thing I want to mention about Elliot is the convenience of living there. So I did just say that there isn't a whole lot of businesses in the area. With that said, Elliot is right on the border of New Hampshire. It is super close to Portsmouth and Newington, which has great shopping. It's right next to York, which has amazing outlets. We made a video on that a couple of weeks ago, which I can insert in the description down below. Uh, but it is surrounded by some awesome towns. So like I said before, if you're looking to get away from all of the tourists in the summertime and you want to be a little bit set back from the coast, uh, Elliot is a great place to live that is still super close to those towns like York, Kittery, right on the border of New Hampshire. There's something to be said about the convenience of that. They do have an exit to get right on and off the highway, which makes it super easy. Elliot is really only about an hour outside of Boston, which is super convenient as well, and probably only about 45 minutes up to Portland, Maine. The third thing I want to talk about is the school system for Elliot. So Elliot is part of the Marshwood school system, which is located in South Berwick. Uh, and we did talk about this in our South Berwick pros and cons video, which I can link down below. But Marshwood is a great school system. It's in a great location in South Berwick. There is also a private school called Berwick Academy in South Berwick as well, which is also super convenient. Depending on where you live in Elliot, it's only, you know, a 10 minute drive. All right, so now I want to get into some of the cons of living in Elliot. The first one being that the town is mostly residential, and I did touch on this a few minutes ago. Um, I do think that the town is so quiet because of this reason. 
um, and I do consider that to be a plus, but the town's mostly residential, so it is a bit inconvenient that nine times out of 10, if you need to go out and get something from the store, it's not gonna be found anywhere in Elliott. You're gonna have to drive to a neighboring area or head over into Portsmouth, New Hampshire to get what you need. And in comparison to a lot of the neighboring towns, there's just not a whole lot to do in Elliott because it is primarily residential. The second con I wanna get into is the fact that there is no large traditional grocery stores in Elliott. If you've seen any of our other videos, you will notice that this is a bit of a trend in the area. Towns like Agunkwit, uh, towns like South Berwick, Kittery, they also do not have grocery stores uh, or at least traditional grocery stores in those towns. So if you live in Elliott, you are going to have to drive to North Berwick. Uh, you're gonna have to drive to maybe York or you're gonna have to cross the border into Portsmouth, New Hampshire to get your groceries at Market Basket because you won't be able to get them in your town. So those were our pros and cons of living in Elliott. I hope you found this video helpful and again, my name is Margaret, and if you have any questions at all, feel free to give us a call, shoot us a text, send an email, or schedule a Zoom call. All that information is in the description below. See you next time.